More than half of Wisconsin businesses expect the state's economy will enter a recession this year. That's the finding of the latest Wisconsin employer survey by Wisconsin Manufacturers and Commerce. According to the National Bureau of Economic Research, a recession is a significant decline in economic activity that is spread across the economy and that lasts for more than a few months. The variables the committee typically tracks include real personal income, minus government transfers, employment, multiple forms of real consumer spending, and industrial production. Fox 11's Lexi Schrader spoke with a Fox Valley business on how it's been doing. Despite many concerns of a recession happening in 2023. I firmly believe that we're already in a recession and we have been for a little while now. Wisconsinites are remaining positive. Hopefully everybody can pull together and hold on and we'll get through it. Riley Brocktrup and Katie Diedrich are from the Fox Valley. They're also new business owners. Definitely was kind of, I don't want to say a bad time of the year to do it. We just kind of like jumped in, but it was definitely scary at first because you don't know what's laying ahead, especially if there is a recession. The couple recently took over Uplift Nutrition, a health food store in Appleton. We love seeing new people every day and it's just exciting. According to Wisconsin Manufacturers and Commerce, the survey found that 39% of Wisconsin business owners rated the state's economy as strong or very strong. That's down five points from the survey last summer and 14 points lower than in the survey a year ago. Nick Novak, vice president of communications of WMC, says a lot of the issues state businesses are facing are nothing new. We have seen out of control inflation for some time now. Uh, and unfortunately, this most recent survey shows us that it's not going away anytime soon. Almost 60% of businesses reported costs increasing by more than 10% in the past year down from 67% who reported the same six months ago. January 1st, we upped all of our prices just because, you know, we pay more money for what we have to buy. So we do a lot of like frozen fruits and like peanut butter and stuff and eggs. So like that definitely has been a crazy increase in price. Republican Senate Majority Leader Devin Lemahue thinks he can help. He proposed a flat income tax rate earlier this month. Lemahue says moving the rate to 3.25% could help Wisconsin businesses. Most Wisconsin businesses are what are known as pass-through entities. That means they pay the individual income tax. WMC agrees. By lowering it and flattening the tax that businesses pay, they will be able to have more money in their pockets that they can invest in additional capital in, you know, you know, in expanding their company, reinvesting that into their workers through higher wages. But Democratic Governor Tony Evers is against it and has promised to block it, saying it primary benefits the wealthy. In Appleton, Lexi Schrader, Fox 11 News. To view the full survey from Wisconsin Manufacturers and Commerce, head to fox11online.com and click the link within this story.